My name is Victor Brooks. Welcome to the Victor Brooks Show Facebook Live Quarantine Series. Um, Y'all know what time it is. It's one o'clock Pacific Coast time. Uh, and that means that we're here to join the rest of our positivity posse around the world. Uh, there was a little Wi-Fi delay earlier at, at my place here today, so I hope uh, it's coming across clear for you and, 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 and it's all good. But uh, once again, we're just so happy. Every, all week, my co-producers and I, Christopher Brooks, Julie McKnight, and the incredible Wendy Vaughn, we, it, we look, we, it's to the point now, all week, we, it's coming to join you on Sundays has become a, a highlight of our week especially when we're preparing the shows and uh, doing what we do to, to get it ready for you. Um, we, uh, oh, forgot again, my watch party. <laughs> and those of you who are in my boat and forgot to, let's go ahead and start that party, y'all, so we can spread the, the positivity um, to as many that we can spread it to. Uh, and like I said, you know, every week, it's a highlight for us to come together because uh, we know that we're going to be joined by other uh, our, our, others of our positivity posse that are growing around the world, Joe. When I say that, it's real. Of course, here in the U.S., uh, I mean, just all over, Chicago, L.A., you know, California, uh, Detroit, down to Memphis, my hometown, just growing here at home, um, and then abroad. You know, we have people who are with us, who, who have been with us from the beginning uh, out there in France and Germany and uh, in other locations, Brazil. Uh, it's a blessing, you know, because every time we come on, we like to say that it's no, we're not trying to negate at all the seriousness of everything that's happening out here. Um, you know, not at all. It's just our way of, of kind of stepping back and taking, um, taking time, even if it's just for an hour every week on Sunday, just to have something to smile about, you dig? And to remind ourselves that every day we have blessings seen and unseen. We have things that we can smile about. You know, and I always take it to me. You know, I can't judge anyone. I know what my life has, 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 my life's journey has taken me through and the lessons that I've learned. But with those lessons, I'm always counting blessings, y'all, you know? And, and that's what it's all about. So, um, you know, I always say that we're dealing with these two viruses. Uh, the virus of the corona, of course, that uh, have put our lives, it's put our lives on pause in so many ways. Uh, you hear me say that on every episode since the beginning, you know, that uh, I, I love to give it up to our first responders, our people who are right there dedicated, you know, to, to try to make life as normal as it can be and also to save lives. Uh, our doctors, our nurses, all of our medical worker, uh, workers, you know, the teams, the EMTs, and, you know, everybody who, you know, the phrase is boots on the ground. We thank you for that. Also, we thank our truck drivers who keep those groceries going and, you know, deliveries across the highways and byways. You know, they're, they're, they're trying to make it as comfortable as it can be. Our market workers. Uh, our school started. Our teachers. Right on and much respect to every single teacher that's having to, to do it differently right now, you know, but just still dedicated to, to our babies. And we thank you. We thank you parents who are making your adjustment at home during this, uh, this period of our life of this one virus that I'm talking about. And, and our students, our, our children, uh, you know, I know, we know it's not, not easy for you. I'm a special ed, I work in the special ed department here in the Santa Monica area. And uh, we're online and, and my babies are, are, are learning a new way. You know, when I talk about my students, you know, I, I talk about my babies too. And uh, they give, it's a reciprocal positivity that happens on that camera. So uh, thank you, thank you all. Uh, we know that second virus of racism that's been generational, definitely here in the United States of America. So these two viruses, you know, that, uh, that we're dealing with and the second virus of racism that's been uh, uh, going on for years, for years. I wanna, my positivity right there is always thankful, first of all, to our young people who took it upon themselves to get out there and make a statement, tell us what's on their heart, what's on their mind. 
some were angry about it. Some were just confused about it. Um, some uh, took it as a point to learn something on their behalf and, you know, try to share it with others of their generation. That's why I always say to my generation and older, we've got to keep our gate open. Our young people need somebody to talk to. Our young people need to be able to say, okay, they're going to listen to me. And even if it's something we can teach them, the fact that that gate is open, we have an opportunity to do so. But we got to remember, our young people can teach us something too. And y'all, we're ready to learn from you as well. Write those songs, young artists. Make those short films. You dig? Paint those pictures. We need your voice. Thank you so much. Today, y'all, is a special day, especially with that first virus that we're talking about. We have one of my oldest and dearest friends, and I use that word oldest as a term of endearment right now, you dig? Because we go back. We go back even before we were born. And I'm talking about Dr. Milton Brown. Um, you know, our fathers, you know, knew each other, grew up together. So by the time Milton and I came along and we began to know each other, uh, it was just like picking up where our fathers left off. And it's been a pleasure and an honor to know this man. Uh, oh my gosh, we're talking mid 40 years plus, you know, it's a blessing. So, um, but he's, he's going to come on today later and give us some education, some real talk, um, some down to earth knowledge of what it is with this whole Corona first virus thing that you hear me mention every episode. Today, I also want to bring on the incredible Wendy Vaughn. And we love, we love that you love the shout outs that we're doing, uh, you know, the love shouts we're doing every week. And, hey, uh, hey. How you doing, girl? I'm doing wonderful. Thank you so much, Uncle Vic. How are you today? Too blessed. You know what I'm too blessed to be stressed. That's yep. what I'm trying to do, you know? Live up to that every day. Live yep. up to that every day. Baby girl, I want to first give condolences and shout out to your aunt and the rest of the family, my sister from another mister, Sister Pam. Mm -hmm. okay. Uh, we lost her a couple of days ago. How are you and the family at this time? Everyone is being strong. Okay. We are definitely saddened because she's not here in the flesh, but we know she is in perfect peace. She's in yeah. perfect peace yes. and uh, no pain up Maybe. there with my grandmother, her mom, who made her transition in November. And she fought a good fight and blessed us so much. Boy, I learned so much from my auntie. And it's just, uh, yeah, everybody is just staying prayed up. We, we thank everybody for their prayers. Boy, prayer works in so many different ways. Yes, it does. And yes, though we wanted her to be here, mm -hmm. we know that God has a plan um, and that those prayers are still healing the family. Come on. That's right. And you know what? For our positivity posse, you heard us say Pam. Mm -hmm. uh, Pam is one of the members of, I'm going to say, <laughs> one of the most iconic female singing vocal groups in music history, which is your mama, Wendy, and your other two aunties, uh, The Emotions. Yeah. The emotions. I mean, Pam's voice was signature and just like Wanda's, just like Sheila's, just like Jeanette's, and what, that's what, and I'm getting chills remembering because what made the emotions, in my opinion, so, and what makes them so iconic is the individuality of each of their vocal tones, their vocal styles, but when it came down to the emotions coming together, you knew who they were individually singing, and yeah. then I'm sure knew who they were collectively. Much yes. The emotions. Yeah, yeah, that's very true. That's true. I mean, they have some large shoes to fill because now Wyan and I perform with moms, and yeah, yeah. This Pam right here. That's Auntie Love Pam. You, girl. Thank you for all of the knowledge and patience and tutelage you even gave young Vic Brooks. I love you, girl. Yep. <laughs> she was always so so happy and energetic and her oh boy you know and I just boy that's like what I've been holding on to knowing that she's able to do that happily you know <laughs> that right. that that right there 
<laughs> makes Maybe. me feel good. Right on, girl. Yeah. Well, what do we have? We see them lining up here. Um, I know. I know. We have we have so many people coming out, giving their their love to the positivity mm -hmm. posse. Out now, we got Salima. Yeah. Oh, Salima's on. Hey, sis, what's going on, girl? Our author. Oh, yep. Amazon. She's still blowing up on Amazon. Right? Yes, she Since is. I lost my baby. That's right. We also have the entire Vaughn family. So you got Wanda, you got oh, Wyann, you got Whitney. Oh, my God. Everybody's shouting out to saying, hey, Uncle Vic. Oh, I love no. you so much. That's right. That's right. And I got over on this side, we have Brother Bobby Broom. Thank you for joining us over here. Rosalind Morgan Upshaw, thank you. We got Brazil in the house. Muito obrigado, Brazil. Família Brasileira. Uh, Kathleen Cat, thank you for joining us so much. Thank this you. On and on, y'all. Um, we have some shout outs as well. I am Wendy, our brother Larry Dotson as you affectionately call Uncle Larry. Uncle right? Larry, that's what he told me. He said, you can't even call me, mister. You gotta call me Uncle Larry. I said, well, that's okay. Right. <laughs> I love I it. That, brother. That's right, and you ain't gonna get no more real than Larry Dotson. Mm -hmm. You know, but we, we, we are so proud to announce and give his, give Laud, L-A-U-D, to Brother Larry yeah. of his new video, first of all, and the single, I'm Good. Larry Dotson, y'all, ain't missed a beat in the funk step at all. His vocals are still Larry Dotson pristine. Uh, when you just got it, you got it. You got it. And it's That's there, it. you know? And uh, we have to remind everybody that uh, the he's doing his own pay-per-view episode on September 26th. Y'all, tickets are $10. $50 and 75 and each one gives its own uh, additional perks for each one. But to be able, even during this time of, of, vi of, vi of uh, online viral uh, music and celebration, to witness Larry Dotson again firsthand and then also with his new music, y'all, go to www.thelarrydotson.com, get your ticket. September 26th, y'all. September 26th. I can't wait. That's going to be so amazing. His voice is. I woke up listening to this this morning. I'm good. I was like, it was It was just that, oh, okay, I can get out of bed. That was, that was my coffee. <laughs> the words to the song. You got it. Can we do, can you do me a favor? And I, I, I'm glad, Larry, I told Larry I wanted to, I'm glad we were able to put it together. I would like to share the video with our Positivity Posse. Absolutely. Let me get that pulled up. Larry Dotson, y'all, I'm good. His new single, Larry Dotson. And this is the video.
Bring her to the dance floor and tell her, say, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, say. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Ladies, sway your body one time. Look them in the eyes and tell them, say, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, say. Joe, I told y'all, Wendy Vaughn, thank you so much for that, girl. That's Larry D, y'all, the one and only Larry Dotson, original lead singer of the Barcades, his new single, I'm Good. Oh, man, and I see you lining up here. That's right, Sister Helena Titus, much love and much respect. I'm good. That's right. Glenn Best, thank you. Thank you so much, Glenn. And that's what we're going to keep doing, brothers, trying to share this positivity every chance we get. Oh, man, Salima, that's right. You know, Larry, get the ticket, y'all. You won't, hey, you don't want to miss this one. You don't want to miss this one. Y'all. Well, today, like I mentioned before, um, we are uh, here to, to, to talk with what I mentioned, one of my oldest friends, and I say that respectively, um, but also one of, and, and you'll see, he's one of the most humble souls that you'll meet. And if you ever have the opportunity to meet him in person, um, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, husband, father, beautiful family, and that love thread of Miltonness just goes right through every smile of his children, uh, the interaction of he and his wife. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a true inspiration and blessing uh, as a friend looking, but then also to know that this is the kind of mind, soul, and spirit that are working on behalf of us during this time of the coronavirus. A lot of people I know have even said, how are you gonna be able to talk about a positivity thread about the corona? Well, you're about to find out. You're about to find out. Like I said, we're gonna get education. We're gonna get uh, realness. We're also gonna have tied up in all of that, a bow of positivity just for our positivity posse. Uh, my spirit just hit me. Wanda, I love you, sister. And thank you so much, Wanda, for all of the, education and love and patience that you've given Victor Brooks the second. Much love. All right, y'all, let me read this here to you. We're talking about Dr. Milton Brown, professor of practice and director for the Center for Drug Discovery for Rare and Underserved Diseases at George Mason University and newly appointed member of the Board for FAIR, F-A-R-E. Milton Brown currently serves as professor of practice and director of the Center for Drug Discovery for Rare and Underserved Diseases at George Mason University in Fairfax, Virginia, and fellow at the National Academy of Inventors, FNAI. His distinct, distinguished career has led to his international recognition as a leader in drug discovery and development research. We are excited to have Dr. Brown today for all of the reasons that I just gave you. And with no further ado, we're going to ask Dr. Brown's camera to be turned on and his microphone so that we can uh, enjoy this positivity from Doc Mill. Brother Doc, are you there? I'm here. There he is. <laughs> I 
My brother, my brother. How you feeling, Mel? <laughs> Hey, I was I was grooving so hard, Vic. I I forgot to turn my 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 camera on. <laughs> I was enjoying the show so much. Oh my word! <laughs> I tell you, man, from Larry Dotson, Bar Kings, I know you're a fan of the Funk too, man. I mean, he's he's giving it to us. Hey, Mr. Step, bro. I was I was just sitting there. I was I was just just having a good time, just listening to the show. <laughs> Man, Vic, you know, I just want to say, man, thank you so much for what you do in the community, for, for the positive role model you are. I'm just glad to be associated with you. And, and, and one of the reasons, you know, I came on this show is because of one, our friendship from many, many years, our friendship of our, our fathers when they were young men, just many, many years. And, uh, you know, I just want to say, man, thank you for being a fresh breath of air, positivity, of hope, of, of, of musical genius, uh, of representing uh, the way that, that, that a person should carry themselves. And man, we're just, just, just glad to know you, Vic. Just, it's just, I just, just want you to, just want to say that to you, my brother. Look, man, thank you, my brother. I, man, the love is, 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 is a two-way street, my brother. Love and respect for real. And I thank you for that, man. I was laughing with Wendy. We were laughing earlier. For those of, 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 of my positivity posse that knows, I was at Oakwood, had the, it, one of the most extreme, memorable experiences and honors to be a part of that Oakwood community, like our parents were, you know, and so many others, Milt. But I remember Milt was one of the brothers who tried his best to keep Vic <laughs> on the path of staying. Hey, Vic, you, you study for that test this week, man? Hey, Vic, you do what you do. <laughs> so I'll never forget that positivity that you gave growing up. <laughs> But Milk, today, as we know, man, and a lot of people were asking, man, how are you going to, you know, what, how is the conversation even going to go to bring a positiveness about the corona, you know? And um, I know that when, once we get into the conversation, brother, that, like I mentioned, it brings me a sense of positivity, like so many others, to know that there are people like you working on our behalf of making this thing better, man. That's the positive message right now. And in, in that, I want the wisdom that I own, that I, because see, you have a way of breaking it down where we can understand it. And that's what I'm talking about. We want to understand, you know? So um, as, you know, we, 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 the information we receive, you know, uh, we watch the news when we read a, a, a magazine or whatever, or we talk amongst, amongst ourselves, a lot of us understand that there's some under, that there is some understanding that we are missing on behalf of what this whole corona is about. You mind if we start from the top, man? What is the coronavirus before we even get into how it even got to us? What is it? For sure, Vic. So coronavirus is really Vic, and we're gonna have a conversation, Vic. Just just you and me, because just like back in the old day, just how we used to talk. And I'm going to just tell you about this virus, all right? It, it, just like we would, would sit around and, and talk in the old day, okay? We, we're going to have that, all right? So what is this coronavirus? It's novel. And Vic, we say the novel coronavirus because that we, we stopped saying that word novel. That means we've never seen it before in the history of our world. Now, coronaviruses, this coronavirus, has been around in animals. And in fact, coronaviruses came into, from animal into people. 2003, uh, we had SARS, the SARS virus. That was a coronavirus. 2009, we had the Middle Eastern version, which was called MERS, and that was infectious. But none of them are like the novel COVID-19. And so the word novel means we don't know how we react to this virus. We don't know how we, uh, what the long-term effects of this virus. We, we don't know how to kill this virus. We don't know how to, 
protect ourselves and, and boost our immunity to this virus. When we say novel, it's, we're saying we're now having to discover those things. So what, what is this virus, Vic? I'm going to explain something. How do, how, do, how do you explain something you can't see? <laughs> exactly. Right? Exactly. Yeah. So, so, so this virus, Vic, uh, it gets into, you can inhale it or you can eat it. If you inhale it, it goes into your lungs. And what happens, Vic, it's, it takes a spike, like a railroad spike, and it stabs into the, the cell. And because it stabs into the cell, that spike now is attached to that cell and that virus is now taken into the cell. So now the virus has gotten inside the cell. Well, what does it first do? The first thing it does, Vic, it locks the door. It says, I'm, a, I'm not gonna let any other viruses get in this cell. I'm gonna lock the house, all right? So it locks the door. And so no other virus, once that virus gets inside, once it, once it stabs the cell and, and, and then pen it, opens up a hole so it can get inside, it gets inside the cell and it closes that, that, that door, that ability to get that, that door and it locks it. Mm. Now it's inside the cell. And the first thing it does, Vic, it replicates itself. It makes millions and millions of copies of itself, a lot of children of his own self. And these, these the, the progeny of this virus goes around the cell and it begins to take the valuables. All it's just you know, like a robber. It just takes the valuables from the from the cell. Then it does something really, really interesting, Vic. It goes into the nucleus of the cell and it turns off the sprinkler system. Mm. Okay. Now, Vic, Vic, what happens when you turn off the sprinkler system mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is really, really important. Yes. Yeah. It's only important if a fire gets started. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But as long as a fire doesn't get started, you don't need a sprinkler system, right, in your house, right? I got you, right? Right? Yeah, right? So what do you think the next thing the virus does when it's inside the cell if it turns off the sprinkler system? It starts that fire, doesn't it? It starts a fire. Vic, you te you're teaching me, Vic. Now no, you're you no, right no, there no, at me. No, but I got you. I got you. It, it starts a fire, Vic. It starts a fire in a cell that's really, really hot. Mm. And, and, and it looks over in the corner, Vic, and it sees some gasoline in the in in the corner, mm -hmm. and, and and guess what do you think it does since it started a fire, and it sees a can of gasoline? What do you think it's gonna do next? It got you spray it on it, put it on it, yeah. Because what happens when you put fire on gas? It's accelerant. It makes it makes that fire just go crazy, and we have some medical terms for the fire. We call it the cytokine storm. You probably heard of that in the news and the literature, but this this is the fire that it starts. It's a it's an immunological response. It's an immunological response that that uh that happens. Hold, I got a call here, Vic. Sorry about that. No it's a it's an immunological response that starts, and it's multi organ. It goes to your kidneys, your heart your GI, it causes blood clots, it goes to your brain. And so I want, to, I want our audience to know yeah, that once this virus gets in, it, it's not the virus that kills you, Vic. Okay. It's not the virus that, that, that puts the hurt on you. It's the fire that it starts. It's the fire that it starts. And when it starts that fire, then, then if we don't put the fire out, we begin to see this really, really problematic thing that we see with this virus, with people having to go into the emergency, go into emergency room, then yeah. to the ICU, I mean, to the, to the floor, and then to the ICU, 
and, and having to go on a ventilator because that, that gas that it puts on the fire makes it hotter and hotter. And all of a sudden, you have this fulminant disease that we see as, as, as COVID-19. I, I, I want people to know that mm -hmm. it's not really the virus itself that's killing people. It's actually a fire that it starts inside of you. And that's why we have to be really, really careful about, about this, 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 this virus, Vic, is because it's doing things that we haven't really seen before with other viruses, right? And so, and, and, and so here's, here's something for you, Vic, okay. for our doubters out here. And this is on the, this is on the, on the positivity tip. Got you. Got you. Here we go. Okay. I, I looked at, I did this my own self. Mm -hmm. In 2019, the flu, the flu killed 34,200 people. Okay. Breast cancer, it killed 41,760 women. Mm -hmm. Prostate cancer killed 31,620. Mm -hmm. Mental disease like suicide resulted in 47,170 deaths. And homicides, okay. where we killed each other, mm -hmm. resulted in 19,510 deaths. When you total all of those together, yeah. that's 174,260 citizens in the US died from flu, breast cancer, prostate cancer, suicides, and homicides. Guess what? COVID's killed more than that in six months. Come on. Uh -huh. COVID's at almost 200,000 U.S. citizens, and we're just passing six months. Perfect for our doubters. I'm glad you said that. Please keep going on that. Perfect for our doubters. I mean, I mean Vic, Vic, yeah. look at flu, mm -hmm. breast cancer, prostate cancer, yeah. suicides homicides, when you put all of those things together, they haven't killed more people in the U.S. than COVID-19. Gotcha. That's right. That's right. Now no. watch this, Vic. I have to say this. Yes, please. I got to say this. Go. I got to say this to my people because we're on the positivity tip. That's right. African-Americans and, and people of color are five times more likely to get this virus and to die from this virus. Five times more likely. Wow, Mill, why? Why? We, we call this a health disparity, Vic. It's a health disparity when one group or a, a several groups of people have a higher prevalence or higher chance of dying or, or getting a particular disease. We call it just a disparity. There's a reason, Vic, why we, we, we're susceptible to this virus. Do you want me to give you a Please, short that, snippet that was, of why? It, it was actually, you re, like you read my notes. That was going to be my next question. Break <laughs> it down, my brother. Break it down. Hey, <laughs> hey Vic, I just got to keep it real here on the that's show, Vic. I got to keep it real. But you know, that's the Miltonness of it all. You always do that. So give it to us, man. Give it to us. So, so Vic, we have, and I'm, I'm getting ready to use... Vic, I apologize on the show. We about to use a big word, Vic. Please. You know, we don't try to use big words. Our moms, our dad, our parents, they don't use big words like that. But I'm about to use a big word, Vic. Take it down, and, bro. And, and the, the word, the word, the word, uh, most people have never heard of this word before. It's called polymorphism. I'm using a big word, Vic. I'm not playing around now, Vic. No, I'm, 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 I'm using a big word. <laughs> okay, okay. But polymorphism is the reason why we are susceptible to this virus. Let me explain it in real terms, like real people. Mm -hmm. We have, when the virus comes into the cell, you have an enzyme that God made for your body to bite off a piece of that, in, that, that virus and put it out on outside of the cell on a flagpole okay. so that the cavalry can come, the, the cells, the, when it puts it out on the, on the outside of the cell, the, 
the cell says, hey, I got something inside of me that's not supposed to be here. Come and help. So that, that enzyme bites off a piece of the virus and puts it outside of the cell. And now the cell is waving a flag of this virus saying, you know what? I got some of this inside of me. You got to send some help. And so the body, the body will send the immune cells and the body will, will begin to send the, 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 the different cells that, that, that help fight infection. Well, Vic, we have a polymorphism in this enzyme that bites off the virus and puts it out onto the outside of the cell. And what does that mean? It means we have a variation of the enzyme that works differently than the other variations of the enzyme. So, so we have the enzyme, we just have an enzyme that works, processes it a little slower mm -hmm. and doesn't get it out to the outside of the cell to, 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 to tell the rest of the body, hey, we infected here, we got an infection. Now, guess who has this poly? It's like this, Vic. If you go to the ice cream store, mm -hmm. you go to the 31 flavors, you know, I might like mango, but you you might like chocolate. Yeah. They all ice cream, right. but they taste different. We got an enzyme that has multiple flavors. We just have a variation that acts a little different. We meaning people and, of and, color. Huh? We, the we are the people of color, us, the, our community. That's right, people yes. of color. And guess who else, guess who else has it? Who? Latinos. Okay. Native Americans. And Italians. Okay. We all, those people groups have this polymorphism, this enzyme that acts a little bit different in biting off the, the, the virus and alerting the body that you have this infection. Okay. So that makes you susceptible because your immune system, our immune systems re are responding a little bit different from, to this virus because of the way we process it. Mm. Gotcha. People have tried to say black people, Latino people, don't go to the doctor. Uh, this is a new day, Vic. People going to the doctor. Right on, right on. We 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 on a we we we're going to the doctor. Mm -hmm. And so the the issue is, it's they're saying that African Americans are, 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 are their health is poor, or they that everybody white people have diabetes. White people got heart disease. White people got all the diseases that we have. Right. But we're getting infected more than they are because we have a pop i'm gonna use that word Vic. we go. have a polymorphism right on i had to break something down today okay. Vic. i got you I, you should see the hands doing this right now man and you know we're with you we're with you i mean the whole one we're looking and 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 positivity posse you know Vic Brooks. You know your boy Vic. I know my lane. And when I get my lane, I'm there with you on the lane. But when it's time to learn something, I'm learning it just like you. And we all learning this together. So we just learned polymorphism. And we just the how it affects us. It affects everybody, the, the, the disease itself or different diseases. But this in particular, it affects us differently because of the polymorphism. In the, the, the polymorphism is in the way we process, process. the virus. Okay. Now, what you do you know, you know what, Mill, brother? I have to tell because I I see some and, and the positivity posse is with us right here, man. Because no, then you know we're not missing a beat of the education you're giving us because the questions that are lining up on these comments as well and and the and the and the and the, and the comments. You know, we here in our community, and I'm going to take it since you graciously took it to our community, I'm going to ride with you on that, brother, because when we talk about learning new things for our benefit, okay, we watch the news, we read a, read a, 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 a clip of a magazine, newspaper, whatever it is, the information that we gather, 
sometimes we gather and we've been getting that if it's really hot outside or hot in your house, the heat temperature will destroy the virus. Then we also get holistic approaches in our community, oregano oil, uh, uh, different kinds of, of things we can take holistically that will, that will benefit us, right? Now, with this information and the polymorphism education now hot on our brains, where should we take this, man? Like so, so, Vic, so, so Vic, let me, give you, let me give you right exactly where you are on this issue. So, okay. so let, me, let me tell you what happens. Yes. So that, so, that, so that our people can understand we can't just chew on charcoal and eat vitamin C and, 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 and elderberry and, and, and think that the holistic style that's important for wholeness and good health is going to be effective against this virus. And there's a reason. Okay. When you're doing those good healthy things, you know, eating right, eating uh, antioxidants, eating different things that, that boost, boost certain things in your, in your body, you're dealing with a, a cell that has the sprinkler system turned on. Mmm. Mmm. Gotcha. How do you put out a fire when the sprinkler system is turned off? Come on. Come on. That's right. Right. I, I don't care what you bring from the outside, elderberry, vitamin C, mm -hmm. uh, 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 Oh, give me some more, Vic. Any other good? I got you. I got you all, brother. All, all the right. good things that people are talking about are important for wholeness. Mm -hmm. Those are good when the sprinkler system is turned on, but the yeah. virus has turned off the ability for us to utilize those things and turn the put the fire out. So yeah. now those things that that are external whole wellness. They're not going to work for this virus. Gotcha. Gotcha. The only thing that's going to work for this virus, Vic, tell us, tell is us. to turn the sprinkler system back on. Gotcha. Gotcha. So what is the sprinkler system? I did all this, this yeah. easy talk. Okay. So people who, who have a, a, a palate for wanting to know what the sprinkler system okay. is, they can go look it up if they want. But it's called ACE2. ACE2. That's the sprinkler system in the cell that, that dampens all of those types of fires that we see, these inflammatory fires. That protein is called ACE2, ACE2. And it has a long name, angiotensin converting enzyme. That's what ACE2, AC, ACE represents. Gotcha. So ACE2 is the sprinkler system that's turned off in the cell that keeps the cell from being able to respond to the fires. And now you got a raging fire that now is thrown gas on it. And, and the gas is, 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 is another process that I we won't go into, but nonetheless, it can amplify this whole process. Mm. And now you got this raging fire in mm. the cell. And it's not just in one cell, it goes to multi organs, it gets out of the cell. And it causes this cytokine burst, and this cytokine storm destroys tissues in the in the kidney. That's why you find 80% of patients who have COVID-19 that are in the ICU. Guess yeah. what? 80% of them are on dialysis. Wow. Because see, people don't talk about that. They talk about the rest, they're being on a respirator, but they don't know 80% of those patients are also on dialysis because that cytokine storm, that release of that fire has killed the tissues in the kidney. It kills the tissues in the heart. It kills the tissues in the brain. It's a multi-system, multi-organ virus that we have never seen before. Okay. And yet people say it doesn't exist. It's now, just like... Milk, milk, <laughs> brother. <laughs> I can be honest, and I know that uh, many of us of my positivity posse watching too, and is going is keeping it real too. We're getting information from you that we first of all have never heard. Some of the information you're giving us, we've never heard it. 
Then if we have heard it, we didn't understand what we were listening to until now. Now, let me put a positivity, an additional positivity pause in that one. It's the fact that that's why this show is important over positivity. Hey, y'all, we are getting information that we didn't understand before or that we just completely didn't know before, not because we didn't want to know it, either just really real. I know for me, I'm always keep it to me. It either went over my head. <laughs> or I just didn't know how to, to digest it. So my positivity is the fact that you, Milt, and others like you, with this knowledge and information, are able to break it down to us, like we say, for real, for real, what it is. And give me an additional to this, Milt. What are we supposed to do? What is the best we can do, my brother, to protect ourselves right now? What is the best we can do? Vic, let me tell you, let me give you a breakdown of what's important. First of all, because this is a novel virus, I want everybody on your show, I want the positivity posse to understand this. Stay away from this virus. The reason it's because, Vic, now get me, Vic. I want you to get this. Please. If you don't hear anything that I've said to you, you've got to listen to this one point. I want your posse to hear this. Please. People who are asymptomatic, those are, the, those are the people who have the virus, but they don't have a cough. They don't have a fever. They don't have a headache. They don't have any of the symptoms they don't feel like, I'm going to use a homeboy term, they don't feel like the cruds, right? I'm, I'm just breaking it down. You know, you, they don't have any symptoms, mm -hmm. but they have the virus. Okay. So most of us say when they get, when, those, when, when, when it's those kind of people, which are many, many people, yes. they say, oh man, I, I, the virus didn't really, didn't really harm me because I, I had it a couple of days well, I had it eight days and I, I, I didn't even feel nothing. Mm -hmm. Vic, I'm getting ready to tell you something. 78% of people who have mild to no symptoms end up having cardiac problems within three months. I'm going to say it again, Vic. Please say that again. Cause you uh, said for, the pos for the positivity yes. crew. Yes. If you have a mild to no symptoms and you had the virus, 78% of people who have that class, that category, end up having heart, heart problems. Mm -hmm. We call it cardiomyopathies or cardiomyitis, which is an inflammation of the heart tissue. Mm -hmm. The virus even though you might not be coughing, sneezing, headache, or you, and you may not have serious symptoms, the, the, the virus is leaving a package in your heart. And that package unloads as inflammation within three months. So you, while you're celebrating that the virus didn't really get you because you didn't see many symptoms, the virus did get you because it deposited something in your heart. Mm -hmm. And that's what I want my, my, my I want the positivity crew to understand. Mm -hmm. The best way <clears throat> to deal with this virus is to do what, Vic? Yeah. Stay away from this virus. Now, how do I stay away from it? Now that, I, now, now that I told you about that, how do I stay away from it? Right. Right. The way you stay away from it, Vic, is you gotta wear a mask. The mask, there are three types of mask I wanna talk about. Okay. The, the best protection is a N95 mask. Mm -hmm. That was developed by the company 3M. That gives you the highest protection. But the highest protection in studies have shown that if you wear the N95 plus a face shield, Mm -hmm. You can have almost zero infections. Wow. Wow. Okay. Almost zero. All right. 
What did I say? N95 plus a face shield, a plastic face shield. Okay, now let me ask you this. That's the number one. When you said N95, brother, we remember how the media started to like, don't, don't try to buy the M95. That's only for the professionals. That's only for the doctors. So us in the public, we were like, wow, we wish we could, you know, get a, get a box load of those as well for our family and ourselves. What's the validity to that? Is it, is it as accessible to get one of those premier masks as we you, you can get them. You can get them. Um, you can get N95s now. And I, I would say in the beginning when, when there were some political issues Wow. which still exist, but there were political issues that were buying up all the N95s and putting them in the warehouse and keeping them away from people. There was a shortage for the healthcare workers. And so there was a different, uh, there was a, a need to get them to the healthcare workers. But now there, there's really, you can get them. And, okay. I, and I was just saying that the, the highest form, okay. the form that I give my family, Vic, oh, I'm talking in a different talk now. No, the form that I would give you, Vic, right. If, if, right. if the form that I would put on your nose and mouth would yeah. be an N95 and a face shield. That's the highest form. Right but on. the second below that is the KN95. 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 That's the that's the Asian version of the N95. K meaning KN95. The K version is the Asian version. It works just as well, Vic. It works very well. It's, it will protect you. So if you can get KN95 masks, they will work just, they will work fine. Okay. They, the, the, their activity goes, the protection goes up when you put a face shield across uh, KN95. So what's the highest, Vic? What's the highest form? N95 plus a face shield. What's the second highest form? KN95 plus a face shield. Now, what's the third, the, the third, the next lowest form would be a surgical mask. All right, a surgical mask plus a face shield. And then the lowest form, which provides very little protection, is the homeboy mask, the robber's mask, the, the bank robber's mask, the, the, the handkerchief, Okay. Uh, putting a shirt over your nose like this, yeah. those things are very low in helping you to, because the virus can go through the materials. Okay. But applying that plastic face shield is very, very important, Vic, in order to protect you. Now, what are we doing in the hospital? Right. They're wearing an N95 with a surgical mask over it and a face shield. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm just telling my family yes, yes. what what we're doing in the hospital right. should be the same thing we're doing we're for doing time. Right. Yeah, that's the positivity policy. We're getting this information. That's the, that's the smile you're seeing on Vic's face. Thank you, Mel. Keep it coming, brother. Right on. Yeah. <laughs> so then, so so that's. We call all of those different things okay. PPE, personal protective equipment. When they say, do you have PPE? Yeah. That means they're asking, you, do you have the personal protective equipment? Along with the mask, I also want the, I want the positive crew to have to wear gloves. Because this virus is a virus that comes through the air, get on surfaces. There was a study, Vic, I found this study. You know, I got to bring some facts sometimes, Vic, with all this. this I got to bring some facts. <laughs> right on. <laughs> and, and Vic, this study was done in Los Angeles, in L.A., in the City of Angels. Okay. Okay. It was done in Los Angeles. And, it, and the study was a group went and they swabbed random places, 78 places within Los Angeles. Now I'm gonna tell you after the show where those places were. So, <laughs> but, but 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 they they did random swabs of those places, and where did they find COVID? Live COVID nineteen. They found it on shopping cart handles. Live virus. They went to seventy eight places in Los Angeles, just random, 
and they swab that they swab the the different things and what they found was the most infectious was shopping cart handles frozen food section the handles on the freezers boards, right right have covid on them and bathrooms bathroom doors now, now Vic, i'm gonna tell you because you can ingest covid19 and it can be in your in your intestinal system and it can come out with your feces covid19 when it's flushed in the in the toilet and latrine can come up into the air and aerosolize three feet and it can remain in the air for two hours well, we know so someone cool. else could have used the restroom mm -hmm. and flushed the toilet put the COVID-19 in the air and you come in and get infected within that two hour period yes sir so when you go to the restroom for public bathrooms please wear your mask please do not touch the door handles mm -hmm. use the piece of, of, of towel paper mm -hmm. towel and open the door as you leave do not touch the handles they have COVID-19 yeah 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 whoo I'm, I'm i'm digesting it brother milk this is fantastic man because really just in conversations with family or friends or even total strangers man they, i have to be honest that there is there is a feeling of and i'm so glad you kicked it off with your explanation by saying for the unbelievers because yeah. There are so many unbelievers that it's really even this serious. And that was one of the reasons why I really wanted to do this episode, man, is because someone with your knowledge, and not just someone with your knowledge, but someone who, like yourself, who are actively pursuing a medical scientific help for us on this side, to give us the real that, no, 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 this isn't something to put on the shelf. <laughs> this isn't something that, it, this ain't over, y'all. You know, no. and, and this gives the education is the positiveness on this, man. You know, well, Vic, you know, I just I, I wanted to say the first part of keeping you safe is to stay away from it. Exactly. The second part is to wear your PPE. That's yes. the mask and yeah. your gloves. And then the third part is to wash your hands mm -hmm. with, with 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 soapy water or with hand sanitizer as much as you can. I mean, literally, you go to the grocery store, you wipe down the cart, you have your gloves on. When you come out of the store, you take your gloves off, throw them away. You go to your car, wipe your hands down with the with, with some hand sanitizer and keep it moving. Keep it moving. That's right. I want us to change our behavior, Vic, so there we can you. stay away from it. There you go. There you go, Doc. This, hey, hey, Vic, this ain't nothing but positivity here. Oh, we, we can change our behavior so yeah. we don't have to deal with this virus it's positivity oh man that's it now you know what i have to ask because it's a couple of people it's a it's a real trip house at least four back to back of different people and i know two were even in another country that are asking this right now crowds of airports people who have to travel to fly different places to put for work or whatever especially now when a lot of people are losing their jobs others who have to travel you know take a flight yeah. What's the best advice that we can give them, man? First, when you travel, I want you to wear your, your personal protective gear. I don't care what you have, whether it's a surgical mask, a KN95 mask, or N95 mask. When you travel, put your face shield on. Okay. Mm -hmm. Put your plastic face shield on. Mm -hmm. And wear your gloves, mm -hmm. all right? When you get to where you're going, throw those gloves away. Wash your hands. Wash your face shield and remove your mask. When you travel, try not try not to take your mask off for anything. That means you may have to miss the the meal. And in most planes now they're not even serving meals anymore. So right. Right. just don't take your mask off until you get to your destination. Mm -hmm. um, I want you, if you're going to use, and, here, and here's, 
here's some good advice, Victor, nobody says anything about. If you go and stay in a hotel, right? Won't you just in your bag, put your, your own uh, uh, pillowcase in there so you can put that, that pillow inside your pillowcase that you know you washed. There you go, right on. Bring, you, bring yourself an extra, extra set of sheets. You can put the sheets down, sleep on top of your sheets, put your pillowcase, and you can be safe. Yeah, yeah. See, see Vic, we're talking about if the positivity crew yes. could, could tell this to the other people yes. and be positive about how you change behavior. There you go. We, we, can, we, can, we can tamp down this infection. Come on now, give that to us, please. Yeah, cause, cause Vic, you know, to be honest with you, if we stay away from it, we're gonna be safe. That's the bottom line, is what you're saying, <laughs> right? That's it. <laughs> you see, got you. Now, am I wrong? Is that, am I missing something to say that's the bottom line? Stay away from hey, it. Vic, that's, that's always been the bottom line. I mean, you and I come from come from a, a, a very good religious background. Good, in 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 the Bible, if we refer to the Bible, you know the the Noah's Ark, they were safe. The, the flood, God said, "I'm gonna kill the whole earth." Gotcha. But if you stay in the ark, you you're gonna be safe. And, and, and guess what? With the with the Egyptians, He said, "I'm gonna have to kill every firstborn Egyptian." But if you stay in your house and put up some lamb's blood, you're going to be safe. Right, right. With right. This, vi this virus is here. It's killed 200,000 people in six months mm -hmm. in the United States. More than flu, cancer, breast cancer, prostate cancer, suicides, homicides, more than all those things combined. Mm -hmm. If you stay away from it, you're going to be safe. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Because like I mentioned, man, I, 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 we started back teaching this, you know, the, I give it, Gary, you heard me give it up to the teachers when we started. And with my students, it's a, it's a new thing. You know, we're online with our kids and we're watching and we're teaching the best we can. Um, school opening, so many people are afraid with, with and I know even, even not just our district, but all over the country, going back, our kids, it's so many things that are, we can get lost in the episode without educating ourselves of how to deal with it. Yes. You dig? And, and think I can talk about the school openings a little bit too yeah, well, when yeah. you're ready for that. No. Well, if you, listen, we are all in school right now. Me and my positivity posse are in a positive school of information thanks to you right now. So, <laughs> hey, look, I just, I want to just give the facts. And, 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 and Vic, yeah. I got something for you, Vic. I got a surprise for you. Okay. There's a game changer that has happened for this virus, and I want to tell it at the end. Okay. That's something that's going to change the game of how we're going to get through it. Because we're going to get through this virus, but something has now happened that's going to really help us. Just the, really fact, help. just the fact that Dr. Milton Brown told myself and our that we're going to get through this. That's worth it. Hey, come on. Right there, man. That did so much for that, that thing, that feeling of we are going to get through this, man. Yes, sir. We're going to get through it, Vic. We're going to get through it. I want to talk before I, and Vic, don't forget to remind me to yes. tell what the game changer is at the end. You got it. You got it. I just wrote it down. I'm with you. So, so I want to talk a little bit about the school openings. Because you got parents in the positivity crew yep. who are considering when should I put my kids, when should I send my kids back? Yeah. Well, when is it okay? Hey, hey, Vic, that's a better statement. When is it okay to send the kids back? I, I'm coming real with it, Vic. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm coming real. Come on. Right. Right. So, and so. So in, in, in January, we saw this virus. And the question I'm gonna tell parents is, nothing has changed about this virus since we first saw it in January to right now. 
What are the things that we have to see in order for us to know it's safe to come out? Well, the first thing is, if we think about 70% of the population has to be infected before we begin to see this virus start to, 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 to go away. Wait, do that again, please. Do that again, Doc. What is that? 70% of the, of of the United States has to be infected before we begin to see this virus begin to wane and go away. And, and Vic, you, you and I know this from back in the day when, when, when we were dealing with the chicken pox, Vic. When somebody in our community got the chicken pox, yeah. they would say, y'all go and play with so-and-so. Y'all go in there and play. And you go in there, everybody gets the chicken pox. Right. But the thing was that once you got the chicken pox, you, couldn't, you was okay. You build up immunity to the chicken pox. Now your community was protected because you all had, everybody had immunity. And it went away in your community. Right. They call it the herd immunity. And the problem with this, with this virus is that if you give it to people, 5% going to die. So if you give it to 350 million people, 5% going to die. So that 10% is 35 million. 5% is about 17 million are going to die. So we can't really use, <laughs> use that kind of strategy yeah. the way, and you know, that's what that's, and, 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 and I apologize, I apologize for this, but mm-hmm. that's what the current administration was trying to do. Y'all just go back and go back, open up, just, yeah. just get the virus. But yeah. 17 million people will have to die for that to happen, Vic. Got you. Another tidbit that we either went like this with most, with most of us, or we just did not have a clue of that right there. Yes, five percent was going to have to die. So, the, the the issue. So the herd immunity. Now, here here's something that I found out about three weeks ago. People who get the COVID infection are only getting about three months of protection from their antibodies if they even make an antibodies to COVID nineteen. Okay. Okay. So what does that mean for us, Vic? Yes. That means that after about three months, our bodies begin don't have enough antibodies to fight the COVID. You can get reinfected. Gotcha. Gotcha. I want the positivity crew to know that even though you had it one time, this is not like chicken pox where you gain a lifetime of immunity from this. This mm-hmm. virus is novel. It's a different virus. Mm-hmm. It doesn't give you lifetime immunity. Got you, man. Well, now you're only getting that? about three months. So, Mill, what is it surrounding the vaccine hope? What is Vic? The- you you coming with it, Vic? Vaccine. You're coming with it, Vic. You're right. You're right. So so a part of this herd immunity would be if we could vaccinate everyone, we could then drive the virus out of our community because everybody has been protected. Right? But how many people do we have to vaccinate? So we said 70%. So it's 350 million people in the United States. We got to we gotta do 70%. We got to get about 208, 270, 280 million people vaccinated. Wow. wow. And that's only one vaccine, one shot, one administration. Now here, 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 here you go, Vic. I'm going to break some new stuff to you right now. Right. This is new. Positivity crew, I want y'all listening. If the natural virus only, if we're seeing about three months of, of antibody response to the, to the real live virus, what do you think the artificial vaccine, which is to mimic the, art, the real virus and, and make you feel like you've been exposed to it, and so now you see the real virus, you can respond to it. What do you think the artificial vaccine is going to give you? If the real virus, you only can develop three months of protection from the real virus, what do you think the artificial vaccine is going to give you? Mm. 
It ain't gonna be better than the real virus, Vic. Yeah. yeah. So that means that potentially we, you, we may have to have three or four shots per year in order to get enough immunity. Gotcha. Gotcha. Per person. Per, per person. person. Gotcha. Lord have mercy. Vic, Vic, I'm just breaking it down <laughs> real, Vic. I'm not <laughs> even you know playing. What? You know what I'm digging right now? I'm digging so much. Number one, I'm so, let me just pause for the cause real quick. I am so proud of you. I'm so proud to see my brother Milton doing what you're doing and then being able to have life bring us together on behalf of people that we may have never met in our lives or people around the world, and but we're all connected through this virus and the education that you're giving us today, Doc, is educating so many of us that I'm seeing right here lining up, man. Somebody just, Ellen Star, Elaine Starch just said, nothing like correct information from a reliable source. Information giving, uh, uh, given from a source that can be trusted. Thank you so much, Dr. Brown. That's the positivity. We are dealing with like I always say in my, in, when I start my shows, these two viruses, COVID and racism. But this particular virus right here of COVID, brother, whoo, the positiveness of learning what to do and what not to do. When you were given that, it reminded me when I was little, I was a hard-headed boy growing up. <laughs> I was hard-headed. And my, I was the one that had to touch the burner <laughs> to see what the was on, right? My brother Chris, Julie, they didn't know. They would watch me mess up and learn from, you know, from that. But I was so. It, 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 I'm kind of equating that and, and to others also of the information you're giving us. That knowledge of, wait a minute, we don't have to burn our hand. We can listen to this information that's coming from Dr. Brown, and then be able to save what we can save at this point in time. Because like you said, it's always changing. It's always developing. Something new is happening. But the main thing about the positiveness that you're giving us today is we don't have to burn our hand if we just stay away from this virus. Just stay away, Vic. I mean, this is like your music, Vic. When you, you, you talk about on your show, you, and, and, and you, you have the experience that music is light. That yes. you can see that it's light. That that that, that you can you can, you can get you get light. Well, yeah. science is light. Come on. <laughs> it's all light. That's right. Right. You you know how to put the notes together because you you can see the you can feel you can hear you can feel you can you can envision the bars and how it should go. Hey, science is the same way. It's light. We all bring in light, Vic. We got to bring the light. Let's bring some light to our specific, I'm just going to talk to, to, to our, our Black community right now. Yes. Uh, and generationally, there have been certain fears. Should we be, is there a validity of the fear of taking this virus in our community right now? So you want to talk about the vaccine? That's it. Because we hear that hey, vaccine, and I hear some, you know, family and friends, I'm not taking that vaccine. They're going to put something in it. They're going to put the tracking information in there. I'm just giving it to you like we get it. And that we're sitting down after the show or somebody's talking or we're on the phone. Man, I'm not getting that vaccine. They're going to drop something in it or it ain't going to help us or they're going to affect us more. Which in my feeling is, are we cutting off the hope and positivity of a vaccine assistance? due to fear or is there a valid point in anything that that fear is about no problem i'm a, let me let me let me close the last segment off with the three things before i go into this vaccine because this whole vaccine thing is is something big we got to talk about this vaccine the, 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 when, when we talked about we finished that last segment we were talking about the things for them to know when to come out right yes, yes. herd immunity really is not going to happen because we can't get protection more than three months. Now, I will say this. If you get infected and you get antibodies and you show that you have antibodies, go immediately and give your blood because we can use your convalescent plasma. I'm just making a, I'm just making a cry to my people. Please, please, if you have been infected with COVID-19, 
and you can, and you and your and your blood shows antibodies because you took the antibody test. Please go give your blood. We need your convalescent plasma to save our brothers and sisters that are in the ICU that needs some antibodies to fight this this virus. I'm begging you, please. That's the second thing. So the first thing is that herd immunity is not going to come. The second thing is the vaccine, and we're going to talk about this vaccine. The third thing is a therapy. So if one of those three things come to, come to light, come to bearing, herd immunity, that means 260 million people are infected, or there's a vaccine, or there's a therapy that will make this virus be like the be like a cold, Vic. You know, you go, you get it, but it doesn't it doesn't cause the multi organ, multi tissue disease that we're seeing. It's just like a cold. You take something and it keeps it limited. Just a cough, headache, fever for six or eight days, and then you get better. So that's a therapy. If we had a therapy, if we had a vaccine, or if we get herd immunity, those are the three things that change the virus and the way it will impact us. Now, Vic, yeah. has any of those things occurred? Yes, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Have we had a vaccine? Mm -hmm. No. Have we had a herd immunity? No. Do we have a therapy? No. And just to put a plug in about the therapies, we're working on new drugs that turn the sprinkler system back on, Vic. That's what we're trying to do. Gotcha. That, that's what my crew, that's what my two live crew is trying to do, right? Yeah. We're trying to turn, <laughs> we're trying to turn the sprinkler system back on. Gotcha. So for parents out there in the positivity crew who are thinking about sending their kids back to school, how do you send your kids back to school when nothing has changed? Yes. 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 You're sending your kids. If a Vic, if a dog was in the yard and it bit Julie, and then the dog bit Chris, mm -hmm. all right, and, and and then 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 Daddy Brooks said, "Hey Vic, go in the yard and go get the newspaper." Yeah. You when you come to that yard, what do you think is gonna happen to you? <laughs> that dog that's right <laughs> you, you looking for that dog because because you know that dog you know that dog has bit some people hey hey vic COVID 19 is a dog in the yard it's biting people it, it hasn't gone away and so when people take their mask off and they go to to bars and they go out in the public and go to large attending large things and they have house parties they're saying, we don't care if the dog bites us. And guess yeah. what? The dog going to bite them because nothing has changed. When we say we're going to send our kids into the yard by sending them to school, what's going to keep them from getting bit? Yeah. 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 Gotcha. I mean, I'm being real. I had to keep my, I had to keep my sons home. I was my sons in college. I had to keep my sons home. Take the college courses online until we learn, until this new breakthrough yeah. Yeah. helps us. It's, we got one coming, Vic. It is, it's it here. Is. There it is. I'm, I'm going to tell. Come on. Right so, on. So let me say this, Vic. You said about the vaccine, because yeah. the vaccine is important. There's 23, there are 23 potential vaccines out there. 23. Can I say this before you do, Doc? I, I mean, yeah. And I ask this is because it's important for uh, specifically right now for our black and brown community. Of course, not just in our black and brown where there's a, 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 a paranoia, but it's collective, multicultural collective uh, yeah. of this paranoia of taking the vaccine. But because yeah. you mentioned the polymorphism at the beginning and how that difference, that's why I'm, I'm putting it to specifically black and brown of that. But I know that the fear, there is a threat of fear or, or paranoia about the vaccine multiculturally, period. That's why we're- Hey, 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 Vic, it red, white, blue, green. Everybody's in fear of this vaccine, you know? That's right. And so I wanna say this, there are 23 out there 
that are in human studies. There are about a hundred or so that are in various stages trying to get to human studies, mm -hmm. all right? I, I'm going to just say this, Vic. I ain't even going to dance around it. If they don't finish the three it's four phases to human studies. If they don't finish three of them, we're not taking that vaccine. Break that down. What do you mean? So there are three phases to human studies. The first phase is, is it safe? That's done in about 100 patients. They give it to you. They give the vaccine to you at bigger doses, bigger doses, until they find a toxicity. Well, recently, the, Ast the, 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 uh, the AstraZeneca vaccine was pulled off of the, out, out of testing because it caused the inflammatory spinal disease because it was not safe. Mm -hmm. All right? So the first step is, is, is it safe? That's called phase one. Phase two is, does it have efficacy? That means, does it stop you from getting COVID that virus? Does, that, the, does the vaccine stop it? Now, typically, we do those studies in about 100 patients, all right? Then they move to phase three, which is in 40,000 to 100,000 patients. Mm. And that, that question that they ask in phase three, is it effective? And is this, do we see any safety problems when we go to a large number of patients? So you remember I said phase one, 100 patients. Mm -hmm. Phase two, about 100 patients. Mm -hmm. Phase three, 30,000, 100,000 patients. Because you may miss a toxicity by picking the right hundred patients. You might never have seen it. But when you go to a thousand patients or ten thousand patients, ten people might show up with a with a bad side effect to the to the treatment. So the question in phase one is it safe? So Vic, we're not taking a vaccine unless it completes phase one, phase two, and phase three. We're not taking it, Vic. Got you. Got you. Right on. Right on. And Vic, I'm not an anti-vaxxer. I have all my vaccines. I take this flu shot. I've taken them, you know, I take all the, 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 the shingles shot, the vaccine. I take all the vaccines that are appropriate. But I'm not taking and I'm not allowing my family to take a vaccine has not been thoroughly tested. Got you. Right on. Right on. We're not doing that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We will take a vaccine that has been thoroughly tested and has shown to be safe and active and effective. Gotcha. We will take a vaccine like that. Who do we trust with that final word, Doc? CNN? Um, a lot of us going to tell you, Vic, I'm, I'm going to tell my folk. I'm telling the ground, grassroots when it's time because I'm watching that data. CDC compromise. Hey, hey, write it down. The, the Center for Disease Control compromise. The Human Health Services compromise. Our beloved Dr. Fauci, <coughs> he's struggling, trying to balance, keeping his job, and telling it. The American people what's the deal but he's given us cold words he's given us cold words to allow us to know Vic we're not getting a vaccine this year we've been trying to get a vaccine to COVID the first one the 2003 that's 17 years well, how are we gonna jump over that one and get one for the second COVID too you talk about perspective. Please keep going, Doc. That's heavy. <laughs> I'm just breaking it down. I'm breaking it down to you because I, I yeah. know that there are people out here just like me yeah. who are ready to see this thing, this virus go away. Mm -hmm. and, but we got to be safe and we have to be, uh, we have to be wise when it comes to dealing with this vaccine, whether it's a, a vaccine for us or just we're going to play 
uh, a safe game and just stay away from it. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to. There you go, Doc. Stay away yeah. from it. Yeah. Stay away from it. <clears throat> now. Go ahead. The on in regards to uh, into in regards to we should take it. The the rule of thumb is safe, and we saw a lot of people were protected. Now, Vic, to be honest with you, I, I'm gonna be real with you, okay? I'm gonna be real because we gotta be real on this show. This show, a lot of people have come before me on this show, and they and and you 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 are being real with them. Got you, brother. We this this just like the flu vaccine. It's only effective in about 50% because we, we got to get it right. Mm. Right? The flu vaccine not always effective because sometimes we don't pick the right strain. Yeah. So in the case of COVID-19, we have at least three strains in the United States. So you see, Vic, I got to get real, Vic. Go we had the strain that came from China to, the, to, to, the, to Washington state we had a strain that went from china europe into york different strain and then there's a third strain that they've identified dr fauci identified that has an affinity for kids mm. it's highly infectious in kids it's a third form now china told us about six months ago that they have found 30 forms of COVID 19. Now we've only so far experienced probably three and not all of the 30 are gonna be bad killers like we have, but some of them are gonna be bad. <clears throat> and so what that means is just like the flu, every year we're gonna have different outbreaks of COVID-19 because we have different strains of it that's in the world's environment. That's that's what I'm saying, Vic. Okay, thank you for this information, please. Yeah. You know, I, I'm just bringing it real, Vic. I'm not, okay. because it's positivity and truth. That's the bottom line. It's negativity when we don't get the real and we're basing our lives on the on the on on the on the non-real <laughs> for, for lack of a better term. But you understand y'all think what I'm saying. We know the real. That's why this is so priceless positivity. Positive positively priceless is what I'm feeling right now. I want I want I want the positivity crew to get this in their heads. Please. I want us to get this in our heads, Vic. We're going to have to change our behavior on how we live with this virus because it's not going anywhere, Vic. Right. You get, get, let me say it a different way. We're going to have, let me say it simpler. Okay. We're going to have to learn how to live with this virus. Mm -hmm. Let me say it again, Vic. Say it again. We're going to have to learn how to live with this virus. Gotcha. Gotcha. And that's more than just ignoring it. We yes. can't just say it doesn't exist. Yeah, it's yeah. killed 200,000 people. Yeah, yeah. It would have killed it would have killed 17 million if we didn't wear a mask. Right. 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 Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, we got to we're going to be dealing with this mask, with this with this problem we're going to be dealing with this problem for a while Vic and 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 this vaccine we are not taking this vaccine unless it's safe and unless it's effective Vic we're not taking this vaccine unless it's safe and effective there you go there you go you know what you heard when you finished your last statement there was almost an online international pause for the cause. <laughs> you saw my face, okay? But it was like, it was like, you know, when you see the comments going back. And to me, that pause of silence was a powerful, realistic, positive joke to us. 
may not feel good. In a lot of ways, it does not feel good. The realism is not a happy, like, you know, oh my God, we're not going to get away from this. Or, oh my God. The realism of it is that it is the truth. That's the realism. We are learning what it is we must do, which is stay away from it. We're learning what the polymorphism of, multi, of different cultural uh, uh, interactions with this virus, this virus what, what that entails. We're learning the different types of masks that, we, that, that, that are recommended. We're also learning that, 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 that our children, there is still a risk for our children in a lot of ways, as well as, as, well as it is for us. So, Information of truth is one of the most positive things that, that I believe we can have as human beings, brother. And, and Vic, Vic, I want people to know that even though you didn't have to go into the hospital when you got COVID-19, you still have to be careful. I want all of our black and brown people to get EKGs if you get COVID, because I want you to have a baseline heart a yeah. baseline heart activity. So three months later, if you get cardio, uh, cardiac problems, we'll, we'll know how much change occurred in the last three months. See, I, I want to treat our people a little bit different. Yeah. I want us to demand, hey, when you go to the doctor and you, and you think you've had a, a doc, I need you to give me an EKG. I need an EK, a baseline EKG because I, I want to be able to know in three months what's happened. If, if, if I'm, if, if my heart is okay, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's, this is the whole issue. See, see, see if, 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 if people cared about the black man and woman, they, they wouldn't be pushing us out there on them football fields to play football. Mm -hmm. And knowing we have a disproportional health disparity in our group that makes us susceptible we have a polymorphism that makes us susceptible to this virus. And you know what, Doc, what I would say, that is so powerful, brother, because for those of who may be listening that may think in some ways that that's a, it's a racial slant or, or misjudgment or something, no, 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 no. We're back to the truth of it all. The truth of it all is that there is a biological, physiological difference and as the doctors yes. know, it's called polymorphism. That polymorphism <laughs> is not the, the, the K, uh, product of the KKK or the or the, no. Or, or the, or the no. no, it's just the truth of it all. That no one is not a racial slant here. This conversation is a conversation of truth. A conversation that, as long as we know better, will do better is the hope. This is the conversation. So I just had to put that there. Thank you for that, Doc. I'm sorry, I didn't mean. Yeah, to... yeah, Vic. I, I just want to be real on this show uh, because yeah. I, you know, we have our young black athletes who are at high risk of getting this disease and who may develop cardiac problems that 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 cut their life short or cut their careers short because they can no longer compete because their heart is damaged from this virus. I just want us to be clear: stay away from this virus. Keep our kids away from this virus. Keep our families away from this virus. We're going to be okay. We got some stuff coming. We have some stuff here that's already here. That's now, ready. That's the being changer? used now. Is this huh? the game? Is this the, are we at the game changer point now, Doc? You want it, Vic? You want game changer? Because my positivity policy is doing game changer with, with exclamation points. So I want to give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen to here, Vic. This is how I want to blend two things together, Vic. I want to blend two things together. I want to I want to blend this issue of our people changing our behavior to learn to live with this virus. And the way we learn to live with this virus is the game changer. Here it is. There's a quick test. There's a 15-minute $5 quick test that's been approved by the FDA that was developed by Abbott Labs. 15 minutes, Vic. You can swab your nose or you could have a concert and you could say, in order to come to this concert, we're going to have, you, we're going to know, well, we're not allowing people 
to come into the concert that are COVID positive. You just swab their nose 15 minutes, we'll be able, you come a half hour early, get your test, 15 minutes, I give you your, your, your positive or negative. It's almost like a pregnancy test, Vic. So that's gonna allow us to open up a lot of things that, are gonna, that we've been taking away from us because of this virus, because we don't know who's infected. See, see Vic, listen to this. The people who are sneezing, coughing, got headaches and, and fever, we can identify them as COVID positive. But we can't identify the people who don't have fever, headache, sore throat, but they have the virus. They call it asymptomatic. So these tests help us identify the asymptomatic group. And if we can do it quickly, and guess what, Vic? Now the nasal test, I have to be honest, I've been taking it every week. It's not fun, Vic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sticking that, that, that swab up your nose, you know, to, until you sneeze or want to cough, yeah. it's not fun, Vic. Yeah. So the game changer is that now we have a 15-minute rapid test, mm -hmm. <laughs> right, that we can now detect if you have COVID. But the real game changer that's coming is when they develop it where we can get it from your saliva. So you can just spit in a tube, in a tube and we'll know that you have the positive or negative. Because yeah. simply put, you're in line, you take the test, we, you come positive, we just say, hey, look, we love you, but we, you can't, we can't let you in this event. You know, come back to the next event. It doesn't hurt them, it doesn't hurt us. But it, even for daycares, for schools, for colleges, even for eating restaurants. Yeah. It'll, it'll be a game changer because we can now identify very quickly who's positive and who's negative. Mm -hmm. and, let, and the negative people can come in. Yeah. The positive people have to stay out until they become negative. Yeah. And so that's a game changer. Mm -hmm. That opens up things and allows mm -hmm. us to be safe, Vic. Now watch this, Vic. Watch this. I, I'm giving y'all the real deal. I'm giving them the real deal, Vic. No. 15 minute Abbott test, it costs $5. There's a second test that just came on board from CVS. CVS has a 30 minute, 30 minute test. That's nasal still. All the tests are nasal. So we're we're still got a work ways to work to make it oral, you know, where you can just spit instead of, but it's still nasal. The CVS test is a 30 minute test. Now it's not in all the CVSs. And, and, and on a show I did, <coughs> on a show I did uh, a couple weeks ago, one of the producers, uh, bo uh, uh, boyf uh, boyfriends had gotten a test done in Rhode Island. So I don't know which states, but we can, you can find out which part, which state, what, which, which, which states have the 30 minute rapid CVS test. Okay. CVS has a rapid test and I'm, sh I'm sure that others are gonna be developed. We have one at, at, at George Mason University. We test about a, uh, about a thousand kids a day with a rapid mm -hmm. test. Johns Hopkins has one I've taken several times. It takes 24 hours. Okay. So the rapid test has gone from seven to eight days. Yeah. Yeah, to yeah. three to four days, to 24 hours, down to 30 minutes, mm -hmm. now 15 minutes right. for you to get your results back. I told you we're going to get through this, Vic. Oh, man, right. That is fantastic game chasing, positivity, posse news. And I thank you <laughs> for breaking that, you know, to the world on our show, brother. That was fantastic. Oh, that's yes, sir. a you, man. That's yeah, it's a game changer. People, they're lining up saying game changer right on, you know, 15 minute rapid test. Um, you know, and, and I got to tell you, in Brazil, that they're, they're doing this episode through interpreter. So a lot of yeah. people are getting some information as well, you know, through, through interpreter. Brother, Milt, there's two people that I love to give shout out to. They're sisters. Uh, Patty and Helena Titus. Uh, Patty's a judge locally and Helena Titus is a minister. But they say a phrase that says something like, do what's right because it's right, something like that. But, you know, this is what we're talking about. What you're giving us 
y'all don't go outside and let the dog bite you. Y'all got right. the information, right? We've got the information now that we didn't have or didn't understand at first. There's no reason for us to go outside and get bit by the dog anymore. At least no more, Vic. And, and with these rapid tests, Vic, we'll be able to send our babies to school yes. safely. Safely. Yeah. We, we don't have to risk sending them in the yard knowing that the dog going to bite them. That's right. We know it's going to bite them. Yeah. We don't want to send our kids there. We want to be able to say, hey, you know what? We don't want to send any kids into the daycare that have a positive COVID test and we can take 15 minutes and know who's positive and that. You could do it at home before you left in the morning. There you go, there you go. I mean, it's, it's a lot of ways, but we will, see Vic, the beauty about what I'm saying for black and brown people. Yeah. If we are positive about this, we can learn to live with this. A part of living with this may be, we'll have to take a screening test every couple days. See, that's a new way of living. But mm -hmm. we're going to be okay, Vic, because we got this. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And we're going to have to change our behavior a little bit in order to keep ourselves and our kids and our friends and our family safe. But Vic, we're going we're gonna to be okay, man. Yes, we are, Doc. Yes, we are. And we're going to be okay because of minds and brothers and souls, male and female, souls like you who put that mind-soul connection together, make it all make sense, give us the truth like you just gave us today, and we're going to be all right. We're At least that's okay, what I'm dude. walking away from right now. That's what I'm walking away from with this conversation right now, Doc. I would, brother, man, there's no way we can fit all of this. We did, we fit a lot in, in this time frame we did, but. Oh, Vic, I, we could go, we could go another. I, Vic, I got so much stuff to say. We're going to have, we might have to do a part two sometime. That's what I was just going to ask you, man. Let's put a part two together, even if it's like a, a you know once a month or once every other month. I know you're you're busy with with what you're doing, brother. And hey, no offense, keep being busy for us, man. <laughs> keep being <laughs> busy for us, you know, because <laughs> it's what we need. But we, I definitely want to do a part two, part three. I don't even want to. I want to do a progressive informational episodes of, of what it is that, of, of, of what you're doing and what we need to know. Would you do that with us, man? Can we, can we Oh, make Vic, you, you, you know that, Vic. Come on, man. You're my, you, you my boy. Hey, Vic, you know, I want to I wanna say this thing about that second virus. Oh, 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 I got to say this one thing, Vic, before I, oh. we, you let me go. We got something to deal with in the fall that I want my family, my friends, I want the Positivity crew to know about. We got this G4 coming. And G4 is a swine flu that's different from the flu that's out there. It's coming. G4 is coming. Well, we got to be careful by wearing your mask and by social distancing and washing your hands. You're actually protecting yourself against the flu, against the G4 swine flu, and against COVID-19. See, my point is, is that wearing masks, a new behavior, yeah. actually protects you against other things. So I want people to know that in October, November, December, there's going to be some funky kind of flus that's coming. And the name of it is a G4 flu. And we're going to have regular influenza. And we're going to have the COVID. So it's going to be a problem figuring out which one you have. And that's why the rapid test is going to be so good, because it's going to allow me, us to say, oh, you got fever and a headache. Oh, you don't have COVID. You got the G. Wi-Fi is getting us. Wi-Fi is getting us. But you know what? Until Dr. Brown comes back, <laughs> hey, Positivity Fossey, this information Oh my goodness, not just like, like Elaine Starks just said, uh, she just wants this in her way. She's saying, praise the Lord for this information. Others are saying, right on. Others are saying, we're going to be all right. There is a positivity to this message, you all. Uh, his scenario of not going outside and letting the dog bite you. Hey, that was powerful because 
we know this dog, i.e. virus, has, has bitten so many people uh, since its beginning. And all we have to do, oh my God, I wish the Wi-Fi was, was there so he could reiterate. But in essence, what we're bringing to you is the understanding and the realism that we can be okay we can be better. There are safety uh, precautions with the mask, with the distancing. Those things are real. And, and, and then those things do help. They do save lives in a lot of ways. And then the additional positive information of the rapid tests that are being uh, uh, are not just developed, but developed and are being given, are in the process of giving to, to, to us as the public. Those are positives, y'all. Those are positives. Um, oh, wow. Dr. Milk, we don't know what happened with the Wi-Fi, but uh, my brother, we love you. I'm so thankful that you took your time to come on here today and talk with our positivity posse around the world. Um, with the comments that I'm seeing here, people are touched, people are, are, are blessed, people are, are understanding that as negative as this is, uh, there's still a threat of positivity. There's still a threat of positivity. Uh, and Wendy just let me know that uh, he sent word that his connection went out. Uh, but Brother, <laughs> Brother Milt, you have connected us today. And um, we are going to, to make sure that we do other episodes of this, you know, other, other, other uplifting and relevant episodes, y'all. Uh, wear those masks, take those precautions. Let's do this together, y'all. We're going to be okay, as you just heard the doc mention. And everybody that's on his team and around the world who are developing these, these, these tests and, and vaccine orders and things that you, this is a positiveness, y'all. All we have to do is do our part. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us again on another episode of the Victor Book Show Facebook Live Quarantine Series. If, I, if you didn't know before, you please know now, I love you. And I know that you are there for us every weekend. And from Christopher Brooks, uh, Julie McKnight, and the incredible Wendy Vaughn, we send our love back to you for joining us every Sunday. You know, taking the time away of your life just to smile a little bit. And if we want to smile even more than a little bit, right on. That's all we're trying to do. Like I always say, too, come get some of this positivity on you, y'all. Take a bath in it, take a shower in it, skinny dip in it, whatever, scuba dive. Just get in that pool of positivity. And when you come out, sprinkle it on as many people as you can, just like the doc did for us today. We'll see you next time on the Victor Brooks Show. <music>